I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. We are about to see our temperatures skyrocket. It was warm yesterday at 83. We're looking at 88 today in Raleigh and Durham and 89 in Fayetteville. Our highs will stay in the 80s all the way through Saturday. Some days a little hotter than others. As a matter of fact, that 88 degrees today would be the hottest day of the year so far. The previous was 86. We're still not quite to 90, but we're awfully close. When we think about the warmer temperatures, we often think about uh, humidity as well. But right now, it looks like we're going to keep our humidity on the lower side. So more comfortable today. Tuesday, we'll see a chance of showers and thunderstorms. And so that will bring a bit more moisture in, making the humidity on the tolerable side. But then it's more comfortable again on Wednesday and Thursday as those numbers go down. Our normal high is 72, so we're way above normal, but still no records. Records are in the low to mid 90s this time of year. 88 today, 85 Tuesday, 81 Wednesday, and then low to mid 80s again Thursday and Friday. We take a look at our satellite and radar view, and we do have a front that's up to the north. That front's been bringing some showers and thunderstorms and will drift southward across our area. We have a level one risk for severe storms in our counties that border Virginia and in Northampton County, uh, North Carolina, that's also a level two risk for severe storms. It's not likely to be a big uh, tornado threat, but uh, definitely the potential for some wind gusts or some hail with the system. Check in future cast, we see that cold front slipping southward during the day. Notice that around 10 p.m. or so, we start to see some of those scattered showers and storms near the Virginia line. By three or four o'clock in the afternoon, it's over with. We get into the day Tuesday with uh, a mix of sun and clouds, and then by late afternoon into the evening, a round of showers and thunderstorms lifting northward across our area. It may linger into um, very early on Wednesday morning. Um, after that, we're looking at uh, some dry conditions. So our best chances for rain will be we're almost overnight tonight near the Virginia line and then more widespread Tuesday, but still just a 30% chance.